Hey, it's March 12th. We are switching hotels today to go to Hanoi Old Quarter and then we're gonna do some sightseeing. Hey, we're Shay and David. In January 2024, we left our jobs, family, and friends behind in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. To start traveling full-time, we flew to our first destination of Tokyo, Japan, where we did real-life Mario Kart around the Tokyo Tower. And then we flew to Thailand, where we became certified scuba divers and made some new friends for life with the elephants. Then we flew to our third country of Laos to explore the amazing culture, and now we're in Vietnam. We just made it to our hotel in Hanoi Old Quarter. We can't check in until about 1.30, so we're gonna go find some food. So, there's no English menu here. The lady doesn't speak any English, so she just pointed at something on the menu and we agreed to it, and um, this is what we got. Okay. Well, we barely finished our meal there because the meat still had bones and... and it, skin on it, um, but... Kind of freaking us out, yeah. so... We love Vietnam and we love some of the food so far, <laughs> but needless to say, the lady was very disappointed and that's just like your mom would be if you don't finish all your food. So we're gonna go get dessert now yeah. and a coffee. Mmm, really good. How's your brownie? Really good. hotel and check in and then go sightsee. Look how nice it is. Beautiful copies. We just checked in and got to our hotel room and I'm not sure if anyone else has experienced this but we're running into the problem where the nicer the hotel room we book the less we want to go out and see the city. <laughs> so we might just stay here and go on our tour to Hailong Bay tomorrow because this is very nice. Let's do a tour. Here we have our bed. TV, some little snacks, and come into the bathroom, shower, rainfall shower, big spacious bathroom. And look how big this is. You fit like five people in here. It's probably the, this, this is probably the first shower where David's head doesn't go over the top. It has a door. Wow. Yeah, we're not leaving. <laughs> so when you check into a hotel in Vietnam, not all of them, but this one in particular, you get a piece of paper with... Traveling advice in Hanoi. So this explains to us how to cross the road, how to be careful of scam travel agents on the street, how to get away from pushy vendors, how to bargain, and how to get away from the street risks. So what do you want to learn about? Well, in Vietnam, we'll show you sometime, but how to cross the road. You have to be relaxed and confident. Look two ways or keep your eyes on the drivers. Keep the speed and walk slowly. Kind of. Do not touch anything if you do not want to buy it. Do not talk to them or smile and keep walking away. I've already broken all those rules. Yeah, David <laughs> likes to try things on and then tell them he's not buying it. I'm just looking. <laughs> now we're gonna go get some banh mi sandwiches at Bon mi mama. And then we're gonna go check out that train street where a train might drive on the street. trying to find the train street every time we put it in on our phones to try and go to a cafe it says turn around because you're going the wrong way when we turn around it says turn around again but I'm sure we'll find it Shay's optimistic okay we finally found it okay we're 
leaving. We didn't see a train. Apparently it comes in like another hour, so we're not gonna wait for it. But here is the famous train street. All right, we are signing off from the busy streets of Hanoi, Vietnam, and we will see you tomorrow on our cruise around Hai Long Bay. Bay.